Um, it is it's raw. It's intense. Um, it is rhythmic and aerial. Um, I thought it was very interesting and avant-garde. That's it. Um, it's it's very different from anything I've ever seen, and um, even though it's very repetitive, I find myself finding new things to watch. Like the lady that was ripping the paper, I didn't know where that sound was coming from for a really long time until I found her on stage and realized that's what it was. Um, but I'm excited to see the rest of it. And I liked it. It was good. It was good. So especially during the first piece as I was listening, um, at first when the new players joined in, there was a lot of dissonance. And then the pattern started to come out and I started to hear what was going on with the piece. But the thing that was significant about, especially the first one for me, was um, that uh, after a point it became almost meditative and I felt like I was hearing voices in the background and in some ways it was transcendent because um, the patterns were in some ways were primal while still kind of uh, changing things up enough that I kept uh, changing my opinion about the piece as it was going on. It was innovative, subtle, sometimes even funny, at least I thought it was. Amusing. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, this is unlike anything I've ever seen, really. Uh, this is kind of like the depths of YouTube for me, but it's interesting to watch it live. Uh, their first piece, I had no idea it went 20 minutes long, but I was kind of just captured by like how their hands were moving, because half the time it didn't sound like much, but if you, uh, for me, if I watched their hands, I could see it like actually make sense. Uh, there's one piece where a girl was ripping paper. I, I want to know what that's about. <laughs> I'm still confused. So far, it's been a really good performance. I'm excited to see the second half of it. They work with 16th notes, like it's second nature. Like it's so fast, and they're all doing uh, percussion at the exact same beat. So when one of them changes, everything else, like, the whole dynamic completely changes. And all these changes are imperceptible and fluid. It's actually really cool. I thought it was very good. They had some nice pieces that they wrote. Uh, very interesting. I, just the beats were incredible, and I was uh, intrigued throughout. All right, uh, the show's really good. Really enjoying uh, different types of percussion. Uh, the guys have a very unique style, and it's really cool. So uh, I spoke with these guys in my intercultural class before I saw this, and I had no idea what to expect. They showed us videos, but each performance is truly unique. The ending was definitely my favorite with uh, the different string instruments they use. I loved it. Really different. It was impressive how they utilized different instruments and different um, objects to create emotion. I wouldn't have suspected that, that there would be such a control of the mood of the room with uh, the instruments that they used. And I guess the, the volcano erupting was, was the, the, quite nice. I've never so. seen anyone <laughs> bow a snare drum. That was awesome. That evoked quite a response. That was uh, the bow to the snare drum. I think it was to make you uncomfortable, and it sure did, it succeeded at that, but then they utilized it um, with the two-string instrument that they created in it, and it was mesmerizing and soothing, so to have two different, whoo, two different things happen. Mesmerizing. I thought it was mesmerizing. <laughs> so I recommend you come Very see innovative. Them. I think the use of the handmade instruments uh, takes what we're used to listening to to an entirely different level. I think the piece of the gun show was very impactful from the narrative going into the rhythms and what this band actually puts together is truly innovative and it's great to have it come here to Juniata and be part of Juniata Presents. It's one of the best things on campus.